Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. Today we'll be discussing exactly when and how Professor Alistair Mad-Eye Moody was subdued and captured by Voldemort's Death Eaters prior to the second rise of the Dark Lord. In Harry's fourth year at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, he is introduced to Alistair Moody, a reputable aura for the British Ministry of Magic who has come to take on the position of that year's Defense Against the Dark Arts Professor. For almost an entire school year, Harry gets to know Professor Moody. He learns from him and trusts him, only to find out months later that the wizard he's gotten to know isn't actually Alistair Mad-Eye Moody at all, but someone else entirely. There are a series of horrific events that begin with the murder of Hufflepuff student Cedric Diggory and end with the confessions of Bartimius Barty Crouch Jr. We discover, alongside Harry, that Professor Moody was captured before the school year even began, and the man who everyone had believed to be him was actually Barty Crouch Jr., an escaped convict from the wizarding prison of Azkaban and loyal Death Eater. But how in Merlin's beard could this have happened? After all, as we've already covered, Alistair Moody was a formidable aura, a highly trained law enforcement official with incredibly powerful defense against the dark arts skills. So when and where did this kidnapping take place? Well, since Alistair Moody accepted Professor Albus Dumbledore's offer to teach Defense Against the Dark Arts in 1994 after the previous school year, but ahead of the full term, we know that he must have been captured sometime during the summer of that year. To narrow that down, we know that, based on Barty Crouch Jr.'s forced testimony, Barty attended the 422nd Quidditch World Cup near the end of August as himself, prior to capturing Moody. The World Cup that year was held in England on August 22nd, yet just 10 days later, at the start of the school year on September 1st, it was Barty disguised as Professor Moody, who showed up at Hogwarts. Therefore, we know that Barty must have taken Moody within the 10-day period of time during that final week and a half of August 1994. But while we're able to narrow down the time of Moody's capture to that 10-day window, we may never know the exact date that he was taken. In terms of how it all went down, Everything we need to know about the details of Moody's capture is perfectly articulated by Barty Crouch Jr. himself, while under the influence of the powerful truth serum, Veritas Serum. His confession from the Goblet of Fire goes as follows. You needed Alistair Moody, said Dumbledore. His blue eyes were blazing, though his voice remained calm. Wormtail and I did it. We had prepared the Polyjuice Potion beforehand. We journeyed to his house. Moody put up a struggle. There was a commotion. He managed to subdue him just in time, forced him into a compartment of his own magical trunk, took some of his hair and added it to the potion. I drank it. I became Moody's double. I took his leg and his eye. I was ready to face Arthur Weasley when he arrived to sort out the muggles who had heard a disturbance. I made the dustbins move around the yard. I told Arthur Weasley I had heard intruders in my yard, who had set the dustbins off. Then I packed up Moody's clothes and dark detectors, put them in the trunk with Moody, and set off for Hogwarts. I kept him alive under the Imperious Curse. I wanted to be able to question him, to find out about his past, learn his habits, so that I could fool even Dumbledore. I also needed his hair to make the Polyjuice Potion. The other ingredients were easy. I stole Boomslang skin from the dungeons. When the potions master found me in his office, I said I was under orders to search it. So there you have it. Alistair Mad-Eye Moody was captured by two Death Eaters, Barty Crouch Jr and Peter Wormtail Pettigrew, who was somehow able to overpower the aura in his own home sometime in late August of 1994. And with that, we've come to the end of today's video. What did you think? Please share your thoughts in the comments below, and as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, remember, it does not do to dwell on dreams, and forget to live.